Okay, today we're going to be doing a test on some uh, new, or you might say alternative uh, building, uh, building materials. This is a, a wall assembly that's made with uh, expanded polystyrene and it's got concrete on both sides. Uh, you also notice like this rebar in here. This actually would be filled with concrete, uh, you know, in a building situation. The one wall would be an uh, exterior wall. Another wall could be considered a, uh, an interior wall. Okay, these these things are well insulated. They're meant to, they're lightweight, and they offer a lot of advantages. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a fire test on this particular uh, uh, sample here. This uh, block right here, it's about three-eighths of an inch thick. It's coated with two coats of no-fire uh, fire retardant paint. And the other side of this block has no paint on it whatsoever. Okay, this again is a concrete. It's about roughly three-eighths just maybe under a half an inch thick. Okay? So we're going to turn on the torch here. We should be running at about 950 degrees centigrade and we're going to watch what happens. Um, at about 170 to 190 degrees centigrade, this paint will activate and it will start to bubble up and blister and it starts to insul become an insulator and it is designed to protect whatever surface it's coated. The, the very little uh, smoke that is emitted actually is more like a vapor, like a CO2 vapor, a little bit of moisture that may be coming out from the paint, but you're noticing virtually no smoke. There's nothing to smell. There's no real toxicity involved here. The no fire uh, fire retardant coating will expand to about maybe 50 to 100 times its original thickness. I can go ahead and I should be able to uh, put this amount of heat on here, 950 degrees C, for well over an hour. And uh, the hopes would be that uh, the, the, the substrate will be protected and the styrofoam will be protected. Now this styrofoam that we're talking about is what they call expanded polystyrene and um, when, it's, when it's exposed to heat, a little heat, maybe in the 150 degree range uh, C, it will basically, I don't know what the word is, but I would call it evaporate. I'll show you a little demonstration of what, what I'm talking about. Doesn't catch on fire, but it just basically uh, melts and dis dissipates right into the atmosphere. So, we need to keep, what we need to do is be able to put enough no fire protection on here to not only protect the concrete, but protect the uh, expanded polystyrene behind it.
Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to turn off our torch. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to see, we're going to peel away some of this polystyrene, and we're going to see if the polystyrene was breached or compromised in any way. Hot. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, darn good in there. No voids. Okay. All right. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna do another test on an unpainted section of concrete. And we will see how it holds up. We're going to put, we're putting about 950 degrees centigrade of heat, this is propane, onto this section. The concrete itself is uh, will resist, you know, the um, the flame at least for a while. Uh, concrete is subject to disintegrating with heat too, but it usually will take a longer period of time. There's an event called spalling that can occur to concrete, and uh, it can. It can Extreme prolonged heat can cause concrete to crumble. Air and moisture that got trapped during the process when the concrete was formed, you know, it, 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 it wants to expand and get out. That's what that's what causes you know the event when it's falling. There, there you see, it went just, there you go, <laughs> one, it was just starting, there you see it, in a, in a prolonged fire, this, this whole section would melt away, you know, which would jeopardize the structural integrity of, the, of a wall. Yeah, it's a pretty big void, you can really see. This time, because we can Yeah, oh my word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we wanted to prove today to show you uh, how no fire can protect.